massive structures beneath the Giza Plateau extend below the Giza Pyramids for approximately two kilometers beneath ground zero. A bold claim by a team of researchers announced last week in Italy. The examination of dozens of tomographic images obtained from different angles using Capella Space and Umbra radars enabled a three-dimensional reconstruction of objects inside and beneath the middle pyramid known as the Pyramid of Khafra. The research team interpreted the raw data that below the ground level there are vertically aligned cylindrical structures that extend for hundreds of meters beneath the Giza Plateau. Notably, eight of these structures, arranged in two parallel rows from north to south, descend to a depth of 648 meters, merging into two large cubic structures measuring approximately 80 meters per side. The research team claim that the various bright spots beneath the pyramids represent artificial structures located approximately two kilometers below the pyramid plateau. But how did they see that deep? Is there even a technology that would get us there? They used the Synthetic Aperture Radar, SAR, an advanced remote sensing technique that uses radar signals to create highly detailed images of the Earth's surface. But what if we want to see below the ground? SAR can do more than just scan the surface, it can actually penetrate the ground under the right conditions and when we apply Doppler analysis things get even deeper, literally. The Doppler effect, yes the same thing that makes an ambulance siren change pitch as it speeds by, also affects radar waves. When SAR signals bounce off underground structures that are moving, like oil reservoirs, flowing groundwater or even expanding magma chambers, they create tiny Doppler shifts. These shifts can be analyzed to detect and even estimate what's hiding below. So how deep can this technology actually see? Let's break it down. Different radar frequencies penetrate to different depths. The P-band SAR 300 megahertz to 1 gigahertz is the deepest, reaching 10 to 30 meters under ideal conditions. But using Doppler-based motion analysis, we can go even deeper. If an underground structure is moving, we can detect shifts at depths of 50 to 500 meters and even deeper in some cases. Think underground rivers, oil reservoirs, and even magma chambers. Of course, SAR isn't perfect. Moist, clay-rich, or highly conductive soils can absorb radar waves, making penetration harder. That's why scientists are now combining SR with ground-penetrating radar, seismic data, and even AI-based deep learning to push underground detection to the next level. Now, how can we model the SAR Doppler data? By using Fourier transform, we can delve into the intricate details of signal processing. The Fourier transform, or FT, is a mathematical technique that transforms a function of time or space into a function of frequency. This is crucial in processing and modeling the data from SAR Doppler technology. It allows us to convert raw radar signals, which are initially in the time or spatial domain, into the frequency domain. In the frequency domain, we can more effectively analyze patterns, shifts and structures, making it easier to interpret complex data and extract meaningful insights. Applying the Fourier transform allows us to separate these Doppler shifts from other signal components helping identify moving structures underground. Fourier-based frequency analysis detects these changes at depths of tens to hundreds of meters. In the deep water gulf of Mexico exploration, the SR, Doppler, and gravity magnetic data being used helped in locating deep oil reservoirs approximately three kilometers below seabed. It helped in identifying the best fracking zones deep underground, tilde two and a half km, for shale gas exploration in the Permian Basin, Texas. In 2022, Filippo Biondi and Corrado Malanga utilized synthetic aperture radar, SAR, technology, which, for the first time, employed an original software developed by Filippo Biondi. 
This software allowed the transformation of the radar electromagnetic signal into phononic information, capable of detecting millimetric displacements of vibrating structures inside the analyzed structures that had remained completely invisible until then. Their research revealed numerous internal structures within the first pyramid of the Giza Plateau, uncovering the presence of rooms and corridors both above and below ground level. They used the same technology and techniques for the discovery they claimed last week about discovering massive structures under the middle pyramid known as the Kafra Pyramid. The claim by the group of researchers that there are massive structures under the Giza Pyramid is yet to be verified, but it opens doors for lots of new and exciting stuff. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this something big or is it just another hoax?